Hey guys, so I just bought this Discovery. It's a Discovery 2 V8 and I bought it about two weeks ago. And um, you've probably seen it on Instagram already in some photos, but I'm just going to do a quick walk around and show you um, the condition of this car and also tell you something about its flaws. Um, so um, let's start with that, shall we? So as you can see, it's a completely standard Disco 2. It's got the light guards, which are, I think, factory installed or dealer installed. Um, it's got a standard cracked bumper, which will be fixed. And I'll make sure to paint it accordingly, because this is an ES spec. So it's the uh, highest spec that was available. Um, it sits on studded tires at the moment. Uh, it's winter time. Um, and one obvious flaw here is the rust on the roof, which seems to be just surface rust. And there's some bubbling here as well. So I'll take the, um, this strip off and then make sure to um, redo it properly. Um, it has air suspension, which leaks sometimes not all the time so uh, right now i've got it parked and i put a jack stand underneath it so it doesn't sink all the way down um, it makes it a bit easier to work on the engine like this um, i will fix that so either um, make sure that the air suspension doesn't leak or swap it for coil springs I haven't had time to uh, figure out what's wrong with the air suspension yet. So we'll see about that later. Um, let's see. So yeah, it looks quite all right. There's a little rust spot as well. Um, but it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's looking really good, both uh, uh, the exterior and the interior. Underneath, there's obviously surface rust um, and some crusty bits, but uh, no holes or anything. And it, uh, there were no, um, nothing uh, on the MOT either about rust. So that's nice. Um, interior wise, it's, um, it's got a beige, Bahama beige it's called. Interior, leather, um, double sunroofs, air suspension, nice wood trim. Uh, it's got the cold climate pack with a heated windshield. And it's uh, it also got a block heater, which is nice. Heated seats, although the driver's side one doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing some leather care on this. Uh, on the whole interior. It's a seven seater, but as you can see, I've already um, flipped the seats up and put a tarp in here because um, I'm going to take apart the whole engine and put it in here. So um, that's the next point. Let me just open in here so you can see. It's the seven-seater one with the uh, headrests that fold down, uh, just like that. Um, it's even got the Harman Kardon, full Harman Kardon, original radio even. Harman Kardon sound system with subwoofers in the back. Um, and here the, back the rear seat passengers can plug in their headphone and listen to their own radio station. Um, so yeah. Let's pop the hood. Uh, it's got electric seats, which both work. Um, power folding mirrors, but this side doesn't fold in. Um, yeah. So let's just open the hood. Um, and here you can see the mighty, but not so mighty V8. It's the 4.0 uh, V8. It's a Bosch engine, if 
you care about those things and um, it's got head gasket problems so I'll be taking it all off and replacing the head gaskets maybe even have to machine the heads but I am hoping that that's not necessary um, here as you can see here as well it's very minimal rust I've had I've had a disco 2 which all of this was all brown and rusty and stuff so it's uh it seems to be in good condition um so yeah uh when i bought this car it didn't run right at all so it had a massive misfire and it didn't pass emissions tests um, so i've uh, already replaced all the um all the spark plugs, I've replaced all the spark leads, I've replaced the coils and I've even had to do a uh, temporary solution with the coil here to not have to take off the whole uh, uh, in man uh, intake manifold. So it runs really well now but it builds pressure in the coolant system and we've tested the coolant system for um, uh, exhaust gases and um, yeah it tested positive so that's basically it um, it only has 178,000 kilometers on it I don't know if you can see it here. no you can't but it only has 178,000 kilometers on it um, from the service history I can see that it's been very well maintained up until I think it's 2010 or something um, and then uh, it got sold and probably uh, bl blew a head gasket or something then already because the last um, approved MOT the yearly inspection was 2011 2011 so it hasn't passed any inspections uh, since um, so that's uh, eight years ago it failed the inspection and then hasn't been on the road since so um, this is a nice little project um, it will be nice to be learning about the v8 engine and taking that all apart and uh, swapping the head gaskets uh, i've done it once before on a 200 tdi uh, but that's so much more simple and we did it all first time ever in like five or six hours so um, yeah this will be a nice little project um, leave some comments down below if you think um, I should keep it stock just leave it as is um, or should I modify it like lifted bumpers roof racks winch everything um, I'm thinking I'm going to sell this car once it's finished because I'm not a V8 guy so um, and then just uh, try and find a TD5 again so yeah I hope you like this video please share it with other people I'll um, I'll try and film some of my uh, work as well so you can see how complicated or how easy it is um, so stay put for that Follow me on Instagram at TD5Adventures uh, in the meantime, because it's there I, I post most, uh, most of the updates. So yeah, please like, subscribe and share this video. And thank you for watching and see you in the next one.